So here we have the experimental setup for investigating the force on a wire in a magnetic field due to the current flowing through the wire. So if you can see here we have a piece of thick copper wire. That is not enameled copper wire, it's just bare copper wire. And um, it's been set up here inside a clear plastic straw or piece of plastic or tube, piece of tubing, something of that kind, and connected on either side with normal plugs into a circuit. We've got this yoke here that's just made of a piece of Coriflex, but cardboard would also be fine. And then we've got a small balance battery powered underneath. And then one of the type of magnets called Magna Duo magnets that you often get in motor kits with their own little yoke thing there as well. Connected to that, in series we have an ammeter. I'm using a multimeter here. And you can see the connection is to the common. The other side, the connection is to the, um, the 10 amp connector. And the setting of the um, multimeter is on the 10 amp setting. So we're going to be able to read between 0 and 10 amps. That goes into the positive side of the power pack. The negative is going through a rear stat um, variable resistor and to the other side of the wire. So the principle of what's happening here is when I switch the power pack on, and the setting I'm using is 5 volts DC. I've got my um, resistor set into the middle at the moment. It's a 16 ohm rear stamp, by the way, if you are interested. When I switch it on, you see the first thing that happens is that I've got a current, and the current will change if I move the rear stat. Put it back in the middle. Second thing you'll notice is that there is now a reading on the balance. It's 0 0.09. And if I step back a little bit, you may be able to see both readings on the ammeter and the balance at the same time. As I increase the current, you'll see that the reading on the balance goes up as well. OK, so why is that? Well, it is because the current's going through the wire here. So we can use Fleming's left-hand rule. Current goes from positive to negative. In this case, that's that way there. Um, the force on the wire must be in the upward direction because the uh, scale is getting a positive reading, which means the scale is being pushed down. So the force on the wire must be up by Newton's third law. That means there's an equal and opposite force pushing downward on the scale. So the force on the wire is upward. That means the magnetic field is, if I come around here, perhaps that's a bit more obvious, the magnetic field is, is, is going in the direction of my first finger, which is from right to left on your screen there. So we could ask the question, what would happen if I swapped the power pack leads round here? So swap negative for positive, that changes the direction of the current. What would happen to the reading here? Well, I think you'd agree it would go from positive to negative. So let me just try that as I swap it round. It was on plus 4, and it's now on minus 4. Minus 4, 0 0.4. Sorry, it was on plus 0 0.4, wasn't it? It's now on minus 0 0.4. So in terms of the investigation, you can vary the current. And each time you vary the current, you can measure this mass difference on the, uh, on the balance. Um, and that's a really nice little experiment, and um, that's how you set it up.